Nisa was a cheerful baby until she got sick last week. Her parents say their daughter was denied emergency care because they didn't have the money to pay for the hospital bills. Now they mourn at her grave. We asked them, can we pay in the morning because then my parents will bring money. That's impossible, the nurse said. That's not according to our procedures. We offered them our mobile phone as a guarantee, and the nurse called the doctor. But she also said that's not possible. It's not according to our procedures. It's a story of one poor grieving family that feels that their basic rights have been denied. Medical treatment for their very sick daughter, simply because they don't have enough money. It's a story that sadly can be told by many Indonesians. No money, no treatment is something that millions are still hearing nearly every day. Indonesia has a medical insurance system for poor people, but many people are not registered and the records are outdated. It's standard hospital procedure to ask patients to pay up front. Nisa was eventually treated, but her parents say it came too late to save her. Hospital management says that staff continue treating the baby, even as they kept asking the parents for money. But we do need to evaluate our emergency system, and we have already talked about it and made some changes in our procedures. The parents have decided not to sue the hospital, because they don't want an autopsy. The Minister of Health is expected to officially reprimand the hospital, but she says a lot more needs to be done. Staff are not allowed to ask patients for money in an emergency situation. So treat first, pay later. And secondly, hospitals need to have enough space for poor people. The government is preparing a medical fund that is supposed to cover all Indonesians by 2014. But for Nisa, it's too late. We ask the government and the hospitals to please take care of us poor people as well. Please help us, although we don't have money, we will really try to pay. Nisa's parents hope that their case will force the government to act. They say they don't want others to go through what they went through, watching their daughter die because they couldn't afford to pay. Step Fasten, Al Jazeera, Chimahi, West Java.